leader of the Alliance of Change, Kemraj Ranjit, and instead that Vice President Mara Jagdeo is pursuing an agenda of character assassination. Ranjit said that Jagdeo wants to character assassinate the leaders of the Guyana Teachers Union. When he says that the Alimin filing returns and a whole host of things. Well, you know, the GTU is the bargaining unit for teachers. And you don't go and start assaulting the teachers' union because of a faux pas and something that has already gone into disuse. A lot of the trade unions, they don't pay their, their they, 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 they not pay, what you call it, file their returns. But the issue of the returns hasn't been attracting the government's attention for more than two decades. Rajatan said that the unions do have their financial statements in order. That for the recognition of a trade union as a bargaining unit for teachers, you had to get a certification from what is called the Trade Union Recognition Board, which the GTU has. So this nastiness that Barajagde was coming up, why they didn't file their returns? Why they didn't file? He, Jack, they ever file any returns from the PDP? He said that Jagdeo has hundreds of millions of dollars in the top leaders' accounts. The amount of money they just collect from the contractor crony class. You take it from me. Them got hundreds of millions of dollars ready for any elections in Ghana. And they keep it in certain people's names and bank accounts. Did us ever tell? Look, Jagdeo never had a Congress since 2016. Yeah. In 2004, I had started the process of pleading at Congress that we must have a financial report because people like me were some of the biggest, uh, what you call, donations getters. I remember having one at my house here at Shell Mohammed and Neville Sarju and so on. We raised millions of dollars and three vehicles from Rose Ramdi Hall. The party would refuse to disclose the information. Look, the law also got something. That says after every political campaign in an elections period, you got to say how much money you spend. But this this law is gone into disuse. Nobody, even Jack, they don't produce that kind of thing. He said that to try to chastise the trade unions for this is hogwash. Ricky Ramsarup, a member of parliament and an executive of the AFC, said that every Gabu president, from Kamal Chan to C. Paul Narain, has been a member of parliament. When they called a strike, it was never seen as political. But because GTU have a, a member of parliament now, we're sitting in the parliament, it becomes political. And that's the point Derek wanted to, 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 to bring when he was talking. So every time somebody come here um, to protest, it is a political move. 